Call to order the Monday, November 19th regular council meeting. <coughs> Clerk, will you read the quote of the day? As we express, oh my goodness. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Thank you. Clerk, will you call the roll? Let's give this a try this time. Yes. Eleven present. A quorum is just present. Yep. Tonight, uh, first of all, we have a Boy Scout troop that is joining us, 890 from St. Clemens and Holy Name Church. Could you guys want to stand up for a second and just be recognized? Thank you and welcome here tonight. Thank you. We also have a, a Girl Scout troop, 8704, that would come forward and will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you very much. Next on the agenda, approval of the minutes, Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve the minutes of the previous council meeting. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of the previous council meeting. Is there any discussion, changes, or additions? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Bill? <laughs> Bill. Oh. Wait, you'll Thank be my, you. You'll be in my age too someday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Eleven eyes. Motion carried. Resignations. City Attorney. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the mayor received an email message from uh, Pastor Mario Chitolo. Chitola advising that uh, for personal reasons, he needed to resign from the Mayor's International Committee. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and file the resignation. Clerk will call the roll. Eleven ayes. Motion carried. Mayor appointments, there are none this no. evening. Public, for, public forum, city clerk. Okay, uh, this evening we have two on public forum. First will be Milt Storm. Milt, if you could come up to the front podium, please. Milt, can I have your home address? 1736 Marvin Court. Okay, and you will have five minutes. I want to thank the mayor and Sue Richards for giving me this opportunity to address this council this evening. I may want to turn the page. The issue that I'm thinking about discussing this evening is the budget and the controversial garbage fee. Before I do that, I am quite intrigued this afternoon that fewer persons are not taking advantage of the public forum. 
Having three different dictionaries, I looked up how public forms were started. To my amazement, they were surprisingly used in biblical times. The definition of public form was pertained to people of a nation, state, or local communities. The dictionaries also mentioned it as a meeting of the people to discuss issues, be they open, well-known, non-secret, or noteworthy, which is now being replaced by the term notorious. I will choose to use the latter definition of notorious. Today, tonight, my issue is with the budget and the garbage fee. The mayor's response was to keep his rhetorical campaign promise, which in my opinion is of a little value and, of, and only public, political speaking to win and gain some talking points. In my opinion, an efficient cost saving is to reduce the department heads and city employees who receive more than $55,000 salary. They would be reduced to 25 to 3%, like my Social Security. Also, they need to pay more for their benefits and their health insurance. Now, this would require some hard bargaining with the unions. The only department to receive a 2 to 3% raise would be the city clerk's department and the fine ladies that work there. Revenue for that department could be raised by keeping the guard fee but reducing or providing a waiver of $3 a month instead of $5. Also, a six-month evaluation would be made by the finance director to, uh, before raising the fees again for the next year. The mayor's position would remain full-time to encourage qualified individuals to lead this city. With more public input from the business leaders, responsible citizens, and the elderly citizens, I'm confident that we can move the city of Sheboygan in a more positive direction. I thank you for listening, and hopefully the San Francisco 49ers will play exceptionally well this evening. <laughs> thank you, Milt. Thank you, Milt. Uh, next on the list is Mike Brunette. Mike, if you could come up. Mike, can we get your home address, please? 1925 South 26th Street. Okay, and you will have five minutes. All right. And it's like, other than just being the weird guy that comes to meetings and sits around and doesn't do nothing and makes comments, trying to talk, what I'm really working on is a project of a study on Sheboygan based on the Middletown studies by Robert Merrill Lind from in the 1930s, which is the most studied study in the history of studies, whatever that's worth. But it's basically, as I told the first person I talked to at the first meeting I went to, Alderman Borden, that I'm here to look at everything open-ended, see what's going on, and what's either going to make a success or a failure of, of Sheboygan County. And it, it's like I've been following this stuff since back in the day when I was the editor of the Centron. And so I have no fear. This is hanging out of an open window with Joe Jose driving the plane back in the days while we were doing stories, the only real stories in town, on the potential doming of downtown by a Mr. Livesey and such, and all the re redevelopment, which most people don't remember. And it's like, in politics, is relatively new to me. This is one of my first really crappy, but for in the day, award-winning photos from the first campaign I covered with a kid named Ronald Reagan, so you can see how old I am, and guys like Paul Simon, and my buddy John Kerry, who I followed extensively. This is the biggest ra rally in um, history, depending upon who you talk to, the biggest rally in the history of a political campaign that was in Madison. And it's basically a copy of what Bill Clinton did, but slightly bigger. And one of my f favorites would be, the, I'm not running for president. This is from the day Tommy Thompson came out running for president. And then a month later said, after nobody showed up to his press conference, except me, my buddy Hirsch, who was shooting for Getty pictures and one other reporter and about three farmers, he declared about four weeks later, he's not sure if he's running for president and then claims he never did. Later that day, I was talking to a guy named Barack Obama at his first coming out party, telling him, hey, don't trip on that little dog. But if you turn around, I get a nice picture. You look good, we all win. He didn't turn around, didn't trip, I didn't get the picture, but it was cool. But bottom line is, I'm looking at everything, and I think 
in my opinion, I'm not really happy with what's, what's going on with the mayor's position, because I think it's a very, very important position, and I think trying, everybody trying to gut it consistently is basically a bunch of crap. I mean, it's like every, I mean, constantly, I mean, for months and months, years and years, it's like, let's cut the responsibilities, let's cut the pay, let's cut this. I was very happy to see uh, Mary Lynn Donahue's little proposal where she actually had responsibilities there for the mayor. I was worried I was gonna see it and was gonna say, he taps the keg at Allen Al's, he um, throws out the first pitch at the A's game, and other than that, the mayor just pretty much sits there. And it's like, I think it's an important position. I don't know what Terry did that he should be getting a salary cut in half. I don't know why it should be half. I think it's, I think it's one of the more important positions there, there is in, in politics. I think it's great. And I, even though I'm an idiot photographer, my real masters was covering presidential politics and studying America. And it's kind of like, whatever. It's, it's like, I don't really know what I'm talking about on, in any front, but it's like, I really think it sucks that everybody's constantly trying to gut the mayor's position. And that's all I have. Thank you, Mike. That's it. Thank you. Move on to the consent agenda, 2-1 through 216, Alderman Hamm. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file our all, all ROs, accept and adopt all uh, RCs, and pass all resolutions. Second. And moved and seconded to accept and file all ROs, accept and file all, all RCs, and pass all resolutions. Any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Two, Two through two sixteen. Two one through two sixteen, I'm sorry. Eleven eyes. Motion carries. Communications and petitions three one will be referred to the committee of the whole. Four one a RO from the city clerk submitted communication from Sheboygan County submitting the appropriate sheets and levying appropriation taxes for the Sheboygan County. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and file the RO. Any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Eleven ayes. Motion carries. 4-2 will be referred to public protection and safety. 4-3 and RO will lie over. 4-4 four, four, and 4-5 four, will be referred to finance. 4-6 through 4-10 will all be referred. Resolutions introduced. 5-1, a resolution by Alderman Hammond will lie over. And the resolution by Alderman Raisler authorizing the city to enter into a contract to new provider for stop loss insurance will be referred to finance. 6-1, reports of committee. Report, committee report from law and licensing recommending denying taxi license number 9733, Alderman Vandewilly. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted. Under discussion, Alderman Vandewilly. Is Jonathan Schild here this evening? He is not here. Uh, he had two opportunities to appear before our committee and he did not uh, show up to either of them. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. 11 ayes. Motion carries. Report of committee 6-2 from law and licensing recommend, recommending denying taxi driver license 7390, Alderman Van Willey. Mr. Mayor, move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted under discussion. Is Salvador Olives here this evening? He's not here, and that was the same, same situation. He had two opportunities to appear and did not show for either time. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. Eleven ayes. Motion carries. 6-3, report a committee from law and licensing recommending denying taxi license number 9744. Alderman Vandewilly. 
I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted. Under discussion, Alderman Vanderwille. Is Andrea Mullins here this evening? She is not here. She also had two opportunities to appear and did not show up for either meeting. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. Eleven eyes. Motion carries. Report of committee from law and licensing recommending denying beverage operator license number 4074. Alderman Vanderwood. I make motion to file the current RC and grant the license. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept to file the current. to file the RC mm -hmm. and grant the license. Under discussion. Um, what happened was this gentleman, he did not show up for either meeting, but did contact uh, the city attorney's office. He is being mixed up with another uh, person with the same name, and he, there was no reason for him to be called in front of us. Could we have that again, Jody? So you want the motion to read, accept and adopt and grant the license? No, file, to file, to file, file and grant would the be license. To file and then to grant it. Steve, do we need to make that in two separate motions? I think it'd one. be a good idea, too. Yeah. Or so let, first, first will be to file the committee report. <clears throat> Motion to file the committee report. Thank you. Okay. And then let's just add the other one on. All, the, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Yeah, all that's the, fine. Yeah. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Now we'll need a motion to grant the license. Motion to grant the license. Second. It's been moved and seconded to grant the operator's license under discussion. Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. 11 ayes. Motion carries. 6 5 from salary and grievance recommended filing documents submitting on general ordinance number 341213. Alderman Basler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RC uh, be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted. Under discussion. Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Six ayes, five noes. Motion carries. Uh, report of committee by finance transferring appropriations in the 2012 budget. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move we accept and adopt and pass the resolution. Second. To so move and seconded to accept and file <clears throat> the committee report and pass the resolution. Is there any discussion? Are you none? The clerk will call the roll. Eleven ayes. Motion carries. Ordinance 7 1 will be referred to public protection and safety. On matters lied over, Alderman Hammond. Are we on eight, talking about 8 1? 8 1. 8 1. Um, I'd like to take 8 1 through uh, 8 4, if it's okay, um, with uh, Mr. Mayor. Um, an, an explanation these are just um, reports that we get from the various taxing authorities, LTC. <laughs> Kohler and the um, Sheboygan Area School District for information only, so I thought we could expedite things by taking them all as one. Um, if that's acceptable, I'll make a motion to accept and file 8-1 through 8-4. Second. And move and seconded to uh, accept and file ROs 8-1 through 8-4. Any discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 8-5 all, by Alderman Hammond approving adjustments to allowable tax levy for 2012 payable in 2013. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move we put the resolution upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the resolution be put upon its passage. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 8-6, a resolution 96-12-13 from Alderman Raisler establishing monthly premium equivalent rates for dental insurance. Alderman Raisler. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Can we take 8, 6, and 8, 7 together? Yes, we can. Okay, and then I move that uh, each resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved, seconded that both resolutions, 8, 6, and 8, 7, be put upon their passage. <coughs> Is there any discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. Bill? Thank you. <coughs> 11 ayes. Motion carries. 8-8 eight, eight from the finance recommending ordering the 2013 budget appropriations for the city Sheboygan funds. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move we accept and adopt the RC and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. So moved and seconded that we accept and adopt the RC and put the resolution upon its passage. Is there any discussion? Clerk will call the roll. Ten eyes, one no. Motion carries. 8-9 by finance recommending ordering the 2013 budget appropriations and the 2012 tax levy for using the calendar 2000 and passing the attached substitute resolution. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again. I move to accept and adopt and put the substitute resolution upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and adopt and put the substitute resolution upon its passage. Is there any discussion? Alderman Bourne. <coughs> Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. Uh, I'm not going to be supporting this budget. Uh, I appreciate what, what efforts you've made, and I also appreciate the uh, efforts of the Chief Administrative Officer and the Finance Committee and Strategic Fiscal Planning. Uh, I, was, I voted for last year's budget, uh, which included the garbage fee, but when the vote came up to implement the garbage fee, I voted against the garbage fee. Um, I don't think enough attention has been been paid to certain budgets. Uh, I think uh, we've done a real good job the last year or so of, of going through the uh, public works budget. Uh, a number of years ago, uh, there were substantial changes made to the uh, leadership of the police department when the last chief re uh, retired and a couple of long serving dedicated deputy chiefs retired and also another a uh, couple of individuals in the police department, when they retired, they weren't re in the police department, they were not replaced. Uh, back in 2008, or late 2007, I guess it was, middle of 2007, early 2008, uh, when it came up for discussion uh, before the council uh, regarding the ambulance service, in the document, in the proposal from the fire department on the ambulance service, uh, was that they were they uh, forecasted that they were going to have 48 percent uh, collected out of the accounts receivable, and uh, they said they stated in that proposal that if they did not meet the 48 percent in the receivables, that in the following year or years that the council could deduct one percent from their budget for every percent that they were under the 48 percent. Well, it came out a couple of weeks ago that uh, with a back and forth between a constituent and uh, Mr. Amodio that the collections for uh, 2011, I believe it was, uh, were 41%. Therefore, if, and this was not anybody on the council's idea, this was the idea of the fire department at the time, that if they did not meet that 48%, that we, they were to have 1% deducted from their next year's budget for every percent that they were below the 48%. And looking, looking at uh, their budget for 2013, 7% of their budget would come to a total of $527,850. The garbage fee is $869,000. So, Mayor, I would suggest uh, that if you're looking for some dollars in the 2013 budget, if this budget does not pass tonight, and if it does pass, you decide to veto the budget, I would think you, one of the first places you would want to look is at the fire department, because if you take that 527,850 off, of off of the 869 garbage fee, that leaves a balance of another $341,150 that you would have to come up with to, to do away with the, uh, with the uh, garbage fee for 2013. 
So mainly for that reason, the two reasons, number one, I don't agree with the garbage sheet to begin with, and number two, I would encourage you and the Finance Committee and the uh, Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee, if this budget does not pass tonight, to look there for some dollars in the areas I suggested. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Any other discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Seven ayes, four noes. Motion fails. Need nine. Can we take a five minute recess? Back into Kameen Alderman Van Acker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. As much as I don't agree with the. Can you speak a little louder? Into yes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. As much as I don't agree with the current budget, I don't think we can just start over at this point. So I'd like to make a motion to reconsider the last vote. It's Second. been moved and seconded. Yes. To reconsider. Do we need a vote on the reconsideration? Yep. Hold on just a second. All those favors wait, 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 of the re Just give me a second. Just give me a second. So is it a do-over? Yeah. All those in favor of the reconsideration of proof? Oh. It's gone. Push your buttons. Seven eyes, four no's. Motion carries. And the motion is back on the floor for Alderman Hammond. To Do we need to make sorry. a motion? Or no, the motion would be back on to consider the prior vote for passage of 8-9 resolution from finance, and accept and adopting and passing a substitute resolution. Hang on. Clerk will call the roll. What is this? Hold my hand. There was no one. motion or a second yet, so. We're going back to the original motion. Oh my God. So motion to reconsider the last motion. Right. The motion to reconsider was the last motion and it was seven to four. And now we're gonna do 8.9 again, which is a motion to accept and adopt and pass. Do we need a motion for that or the previous motion still? Uh, I think it needs to be put on the floor again. Mm -hmm. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to put the uh, accept and adopt and put the substitute resolution upon this passage. Second. It's been moved, seconded to accept and adopt, put the substitute resolution on this passage. Clerk will call the roll. So, uh, any, I don't see any lights. Well, any discussion? Mine's not cooperating. Alderman Carlson. Alderman <laughs> Hammond. <coughs> You're very nice. Thank you. Um, and I, I uh, Appreciate uh, Alderman Van Akron's um, willingness to put this back on the floor. I know that um, tonight we could go back and forth and we'd never get enough votes either way. So it gives us an opportunity to have the discussion. The only thing I would ask is since this is going to be passed, you know, the mayor, you've indicated that you're going to veto it and that's certainly within your purview. Um, and that the meeting would probably be Wednesday night out of courtesy for the employees, department heads and the council. I'd ask that we don't have that meeting on Wednesday night um, and have that on the following Monday. So the most of us can enjoy our uh, Thanksgiving holidays, many of us are traveling, so just ask that as a courtesy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other discussion? Alderman Bourne. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, I'd like to ask Mr. Amodio a question, please. Sure. Mr. Amodio. I guess my question, Mr. Modi, was my remark, my previous remarks, is that seeing that the fire department did not meet their financial responsibility for the for the receivables for the uh, for the ambulance service, why are not why are not they being held accountable for what they promised back in 2008, that they would lose a percent of their budget for every percent short of the 48 percent? Now I know you weren't here then, but there are staff in your department that were here then. 
And that should, that should have been part of your discussions uh, for this 2013 budget, seeing that they did not meet their, their financial responsibility for the ambulance service. It's not a question of what, a, they're doing a fantastic job in providing the service. They're not meeting their financials that they said they were going to meet. So if you could answer why they're not being held responsible, I would appreciate it. I don't have an answer for you, uh, Alderman Bourne, because this is the first I've heard of that. So the first thing I'll do tomorrow is pull that document see what it says and then we'll look at what it says in that document and based on what it says in that document see how the calculation should be performed uh, for percent collected for revenue okay born anything else that'll do it thank you mr Morio. any other discussion hearing none clerk will call the roll Eight ayes, three noes. Did not pass. Still did not pass. Motion fails. Under other matters, 9 1 from the City County Shared Services on Combined Dispatch. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and adopt and direct the city attorney to work with the county to draft an agreement um, to be presented to the council in the future. Second. So move and seconded to accept and file the committee report and instruct the city attorney to draft an agreement for the city colony services. Council. Any discussion? Alderman Millender. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I would just like an update on where things are at as far as the, the county side. Have they passed it? Has it gone through any kind of committee? Is it, uh, if you could, Alderman Hammond, just give us an update of, of where things are at from, from that perspective? Or Mr. Yeah. Mayor? Um, it did go to the law committee, and the law committee came forward with a, with a recommendation similar to this, uh, address, telling the county attorney to draft an uh, agreement that then would be forwarded to the county um, so that we would both have a, the, sim, the same agreement to go forward to both bodies. So they have passed it through their committee system to draft it. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Nine ayes, one no, one abstention. The motion carries. Closed session, Alderman Hammond. Steve has one other I'm He's sorry, Steve has one more other matters. It's an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2013 and June 30, 2014. That will go to law and licensing. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I move to convene into closed session of the exemption provided in Section 19.851E Wisconsin Statutes for the purpose of deliberating the possible sale of public property with competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session. Second. And moved, seconded that the try to say that. we go into closed session. Any discussion? We'll take a five minute recess to let the. Get a vote. I'm sorry. Clerk will call the roll. We'll take a five minute recess to allow the people to clear. Okay.